have heard of foolish questions and no doubt you wonder why. The person who'll ask them will expect a sensible reply. Did you ever take your girl a box of candy, say, right after tea? You notice how she'll grab it and she'll say, is this for me? Foolish questions you should answer when you can. No, the candy's for your father or your mother or John the hired hand. I just wanted you to see it and now I'm going to take it away. Wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. It seems that every morning there's someone around the place who'll see you take the shaving brush and lather up your face. And as you give the razor a preliminary wave, that person will always ask you, are you going to shave? Foolish questions, your answer is I hope. No, I'm not prepared for shaving. I just like to taste the soap. I like to take the shaving brush and paint myself this way. Wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. I'm sure you all have seen the man who meets you on your way. He'll ask you where you're going and listen while you say that you're going to the funeral of poor old brother Ned. And just as quick as you finish, he'll say, is Ned dead? Foolish questions, you might as well reply. No, he thought he'd have his funeral, and later on he'd die. Brother Ned was so original, he wanted it this way. Wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. Suppose you paid your entry fee and drew the rankest bull. You cinch him tight and tell the boys to give the gate a pull. He slams you up against the wall and leaves you in the dirt. The mayor's wife, she hollers down inquiring, are you hurt? Foolish questions, your dying words are no. I thought I'd just relax a while and watch the rodeo. My legs have always been on wrong and my head turned around this way. Wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. Wasn't that a foolish question? 